Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagude Imo TV. I am Moriri Rebiba Lawa. Today, the 20th day in the month of September 2022. First are the major headlines for the national news. What Queen Elizabeth II expects of King Charles or Shibadro? As to strike, Nan suspends Lagos protest, awaits outcome of Baja intervention. Bandit, residents raise alarm over Turuji's planned reprisal attack. Abducted school principal in Akwaibom regains freedom after paying some money to the perpetrators. So safe co-op NAP4 for marketing terrorizing indigenous of Ogo community. And lastly, on sports, Nigeria versus Algeria, 18 Super Eagles players arrive calm. Now the news in detail. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo has told New England monarch King Charles what his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, was expecting of him as he resumes his reign. The Vice President said that Queen Elizabeth II will expect her son to do better than she did and bring peace and prosperity to the Commonwealth. Oshibajo represented Nigeria during the state funeral for the late Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. He was among the world leaders who visited Westminster all to witness the line in states alongside the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudy, USA President Joe Biden and French President Emmanuel Macron and other royals and heads of state and government across the world. Speaking to channels after the funeral, Oshibato said, we wish King Charles well indeed. We are all anxious that he succeeds and that perhaps he does it better than the mother which is always the hope of his mother. As regards the ongoing acid strike, the National Association of Nigerian Students, NAS, has suspended the protest in Lagos over the continued shutdown of universities. During the protest, editors had reported how Adjit students paralyzed activities at Murtala International Airport in Lagos on Monday. The action of the students had subjected travelers and motorists to hardship as traffic gridlock was experienced in different parts of the state. Multiple flights were rescheduled while some passengers missed their flight on account of the blockade created by the students. The students had earlier vowed to continue the protest today in Lagos and even extend to the seaport to demand an end to the seven-month-old ASU strike. But in a telephone interview on Tuesday, Chairman of NAS Lagos Access, Comrade Olushisi Tonulokwe, said that protests had been suspended as a result of the intervention of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Femi Badabia Mila. Badabia Mila is expected to meet with the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, the leadership of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and other stakeholders over the lingering strike. To some part of insecurity stories, Security operatives have been alerted that dreaded bandit kingpin, Bedlo Turiji's gang, may unleash reprisal attack on Gusau Sokoto Zaria Road following the Nigeria Air Force now bombardment of East Camps in Zamfara Forest. Daily Post learned from a source who didn't want his name published for security reasons that the gangs may state reprisal attacks over the killing of scores of bandits in the forest. The source further warned that communities along Sokoto Gusau Tafi Funtua Roads should avoid those areas for now. Recall that a few days ago, two of the Nigeria Air Force NAV fighter jets attacked the camps belonging to Turuji and killed scores of bandits in Zamfara states. However, the military and police operatives have vowed that they would engage the bandits in a fire for fire operation, pointing out that they were ready to carry war to the bandits then in the forest. Recently, the State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Kolo Yusuf, told newsmen during a press briefing that he did not come to Zamfara State to play, but to show superiority and professionalism to the bandits. Most of my assignments in my police career have been to talk gone battle with terrorists and bandits. I am sending a red signal to them that it will no longer be business as usual, he concluded. Moving on to another story from Aquaibum States. The principal general of Madonna Community Secondary School, Mr. Monde Ekoriko, who was kidnapped two weeks ago, has regained his freedom after paying 4 million naira, 200,000, to his captors. It would be recalled that Ekoriko was kidnapped in his native home in Uduaga, a team airport local government on his way to church and his SUV 
was taken but was later abandoned and recovered by the police. It was gathered that the kidnappers demanded 50 million naira but later settled to 4.2 million naira. Ekeriko, who spoke to some journalists after his release, said he was subjected to death threat throughout the period of his travels in the forest in a bid to compel him to quickly raise the money. I uh, started trekking and jogging from there towards a parochial access and headed towards Okunafun LGA where my eyes became clearer. At Okunafun, I was able to connect my friend who drove me to my compound, Udianga NM, in Etim Epo LGA. To Ogo State. The Soul Safe Corps in Ogo State has arrested four men for allegedly terrorizing Ihumbo community in Ipokia local government area of the state. The four were arrested for reportedly marketing two residents of Ihumbo, making the traditional ruler Oba Joseph Adishio cry for help. State Commander of the Corps, Commander Soji Gonzalo, in a statement on Monday, quoted the monarch as saying that the reason increase in attacks on the sons and daughters of the community by some faceless miscreants for unknown reasons. Daily Post learned that two residents of the community had been brutally maltreated by the suspect as the overseer the victims were presently receiving treatment in a hospital. Gonzalo maintained that the associate court in Idiroko was asked to step into the matter to stop the lawless activities of the miscreants before things go out of hand. According to him, the Special Operational Patrol of the Corps apprehended four of the suspects on Sunday. From that story, we go to the last story from sports. At least 18 players have arrived at Super Eagles camp ahead of their friendly match against Algeria. At Gold Splits defender Chi Doze Awazim was the first player to arrive on Monday. He was joined later in the day by 17 other squad members as training began ahead of the match. The quartet of Francis Uzoho, Adewale Adebayo, Ebu Bedoru, Godwin Savior, and Kelechi Iyanacho are expected in camp on Tuesday morning. Nigeria will play Algeria at the Milud Adafi Stadium, Oran, on Tuesday, September 27th. The three time African champions have another friendly line up for next month against Portugal. That was the news from BGI TV. Before we go, some major headlines. What Queen Elizabeth II expects of King Charles or Shibajo? We also brought to you as regards the suspension of the protests of NAS. NAS suspends Lagos protests awaits outcome of Baja intervention. And on sports, Nigeria versus Algeria, 18 Super Eagles players arrive calm. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Baba Magede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, both outdoor, kindly dial on the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. I am Mori Rebila Lawa. Good afternoon.